Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. It's going to be your own reading today, Sagittarius. And uh, we're going to have the Tree of Life Oracle as well. Uh, but we're going to complete that in the other reading we are. And we have uh, some beautiful Oracle cards here, Sagittarius. So, you know, uh, your birthday's coming next month. So, you know, it uh, starts in November, right? Mm-hmm. But uh, usually that's uh, really, right now it's Libra se or Scorpio season. But, uh, or it's coming, we're coming into Scorpio season, I feel like it's tomorrow, right? Is it tomorrow? Or, no, OMG, it was yesterday, or today. Okay, you guys, sorry, you guys, I just, time's going by so fast here, right? And you guys know I'm Rip Van Winkle, right? Yeah, uh, except I don't accept gray hair, so in the middle of my, you know, my nap for 20 years or 30, whatever it was, uh, I still got my hair highlighted, right? I was just asleep, okay? Because <laughs> Rip Van Winkle had gray hair for sure, if you guys know the story. I used to love that story when I was a kid because it was kind of a divination story. Or, you know, the man, uh, I don't know, he, he laid down or he sat down next to a tree and he fell asleep for, I think, 20 or 30 years. And he woke up as a very old man. But I do believe he learned a lot when he was sleeping. It's uh, yeah, I really want to relook up. I want to relook look at that reading. Uh, it's interesting how you know it's one of the first, the only, not only, but it's kind of you know, one of the few uh, stories that I remember with such reverence. Right. So let's get into your reading, Sagittarius, because it is uh, there's yeah there is a lot of uh, beautiful things happening for you. We have. Uh, the rabbit, this is lucky and fertility and simple diet. I don't feel like this is about your diet, Cap uh, Sagittarius. I feel like you are lucky. And the fertility card, you could be really going at it with somebody soon. Like jumping in the sack and up and down, back and forth. And a little while later, well, let's do it again. <laughs> Which is a 70s song by the Staples Singer. Staple Singers. And next to that is the Good Times card. Sagittarius, you look like you're going to be getting it on with somebody. That's how it looks here to me. And next to that is the Soulmate. So you're going to be getting it on with a Soulmate. The Song of the Wild talks about new horizons coming. OMG. And the Ancient Forest talks about our ancestors protecting us. Or you could talk about, you know, major uh, awareness or uh, what's the word? Wisdom, right? Uh, from the past. The flexible card is here, and, you know, this chick is kind of reminding me that I need to do some exercise, and uh, maybe it's a dude, I don't really know, it doesn't matter, oh, it's a chick because of the boobies, but uh, she is, you know, doing some major uh, yoga here, yeah, I remember my ex-husband could stand on his hands and walk around, I thought that was really, really cool, because he was uh, very athletic, yeah, he was, and... Uh, Mm-hmm, a baseball player in Venezuela, right? Yeah, a long time ago. But here, you know, this is really kind of cool here. I feel like uh, somebody is kind of bending to the will of a union because they realize somebody is a soulmate. Good times are coming. There could be some really good sex coming, Sagittarius. That's what the rabbit uh, speaks to. I guess rabbits get it on all day long when they have their soulmate with them or their mate. And we also have here the skeleton and the casualty casualty card come on Denise say it this is English right say it in English right uh, but you know the skeleton card is about uh, looking things uh, it can be about looking at things very deeply in this reading there's I don't think anybody's really looking here I feel like it's more like you have a new beginning with somebody and they are protecting this the skeleton that the way the bones protect the uh, the anything, right? You, they protect the, the muscles and the organs. They do. The casualty card usually talks about cause and effect. Maybe somebody has uh, kind of, what's the word? Like, they have realized that this, like, like they love you, and the cause and effect here is, is causing them to protect this. I feel like that's what this reading is about. Yeah, I feel like it is. Because somebody has their wisdom here with this ancient forest. Yeah. Totally reminds me of Northern California. I was with uh, my brother up in Crescent City. And we went into the forest, right, where there was a stream there. And it was really beautiful. Yeah, there was a... Mm -hmm. Let's see what we have. And let's see what we have for Sagittarius. This is already a beautiful reading. I have to say it is. The Two of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles. You're wondering if this person is coming. Maybe you're concerned about your money. Both Pentacle cards. The Temperance card, Sagittarius, is your highest expectations. 
and here you are showing up as an angel like I am an angel I haven't done anything wrong in you know in five days so now I'm a certified angel <laughs> but this is you and you're in the upright and this is your goal this is really good to be in the upright uh, up there in that position coming into play as the lovers I tell ya I tell ya the eight of pentacles is how other people uh, is energies that are going by the wayside but what I mean by that is these are like recent past energies. But the Two of Pentacles is next to it. You have been wondering if this person will make an effort with you. Well, trust me, Sagittarius, they can't wait to jump your bones. They, uh, you know, we have the Fertility card next to Song of the Wild. All right, yeah, this is going to be wild. And it's also next to Good Times and the Soulmates card. And this flexible card, Sagittarius, could be, you could be getting into some really flexible poses with them. Yeah, you could be going, well, let me open up, let me, let me open this way. <laughs> let me turn around. This is like hilarious. Okay, let's see what we got. You're being flexible. I didn't make that card up, Sagittarius. Okay, let's see what else we have. You could be going, you crazy. The strength card here, Sagittarius, uh, and this is coming soon. Somebody has courage to come and get you and love you. I feel like they do. This is a renewal all the way. How other people are affecting you as the Queen of Swords. Here you are, kind of still discerning. This is you discerning here. I wonder what's going to happen. I wonder if I'm going to get a reap, reap this kind of fertility over here. Like reap this uh, harvest, which can always speak to fertile, right? Fertile, yeah. Maybe Sagittarius, your name is Myrtle, and you are a fertile Myrtle. It, it's a possibility, right? I mean... <laughs> The King of Pentacles is how you affect other people. This person is probably Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Your hopes and fears is the King of Cups. So Sagittarius, it's possible you want somebody to walk away from somebody here. It's a possibility here. Uh, but what, what I see is that you're kind of waiting for somebody here who might be a soulmate. Maybe you're waiting for Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Maybe this Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Maybe this Air sign, uh, Aries, uh, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. But we have the lovers here, and this is coming into play, and you are wor wondering here if this person is choosing you or coming to kind of, you know, jump your bones. This is this person is your soulmate, Sagittarius. Yeah, they are. Here's the soulmate card, right, with the penguins, and they're totally loving each other. Let's see what else is happening here in the heart of the matter, the sun card. Mm, you're trying to gain your clarity. But I feel like what this is is that you know... If this person comes, there's going to be happiness. I feel like you do. Sorry about the noise, you guys. Hold on one second. You guys. Ooh. So, let's see what else we have. I beg your pardon, you guys, but this is... Let's see what we have. I was trying to, like, warm lunch up here. Let's see what we have, you guys. And the sun card, though. You're trying to gain your clarity here. For me, if this person is going to come invest in you, what's kind of going to happen? The Seven of Pentacles, uh, what am I going to reap here? And the Moon card reversed. I feel like your person might be Pisces or Cancer. They could be this King of Pentacles, as I just said, or this Queen of Swords. There could definitely be third-party energy here. And I don't mean so much that you're in one, but you could be concerned. Maybe you are wondering if they're in another situation. But for me, you're wondering here, you're trying to gain your clarity if somebody's going to come. Maybe, you know, uh, if somebody, I have the, the, the moon card and the king of cups reversed. Maybe your person is kind of really in the reverse. You know, like, maybe they've had a hard time to come to you. Because somebody is kind of, you know, the cause and effect here is that there's going to be a protection of a union, the skeleton card. Coming in, uh, let's see what we have for the Temperance card. This could be Pisces here or Cancer with the King of Cups reversed. You could be wondering if somebody's going to reveal a secret here. You could, but I feel like what you are more concerned of here is am I, I going to have my happiness? Is somebody going to come invest in me, kind of? Am I going to gain clarity here about this? I feel like you kind of know that this person is coming, though. And that once you get some type of clarity from them, something, maybe an illumination, right? But with the sun card, you will know, like right then. Like it, maybe this could be saying if you hear from somebody, 
you know they're coming to be with you forever. Forever. <laughs> Who sees that? And the Two of Wands. Mm -hmm. We have two, two twos here. You're wondering if somebody else is choosing or if they're at a crossroads. Or I feel like it's about choosing you, though. I feel like it is because we have the Soulmates card, Good Times, uh, Song of the Wild, New Beginnings, right? And your highest expectations is Temperance and the Empress. Empress. So you are, you're like, you're hoping here or, you know, you kind of are expecting here that you're going to like, that you're going to bring this to fruition, that you're going to have these good times, I feel like. There's a little doubt here, there is, with this moon card. There's a little bit of a doubt here. But this Empress, you're the Empress, Sagittarius. Yeah, you're the third wheel, kind of. But this is, as I've been saying, I feel like it's coming to an end. The Ace of Cups. You're either expecting this, or this is what you want. Well, we know you want the Ace of Cups, the new beginning in love. But for some reason, I feel like you are expecting it, to some degree. Yeah, you know they are your soulmate, uh, you know... Maybe if you, you have been getting readings on this person. You know that they are your soulmate here. You know. Let's see what's coming into play. The lovers and the three of pentacles. For me, this person is choosing you to come and work on things with you. And this is kind of what you're expecting here. OMG. The energies that are leaving you. Eight of pentacles, five of pentacles reversed. I feel like you're, you know, this could be somebody's letting you in to come and work on things with you. But right here we have the Two of Pentacles. So you are concerned here or you are kind of wondering if this person is doing that. If they're going to come work on things with you, I feel like to let you in. Did I say let somebody else out? No, to let you in. That's what you want. And the very fact that this Five of Pentacles is here to let you in... Maybe to let somebody else out and it's kind of flipped here or it's like pending kind of, like delayed. But uh, whatever you are wondering here, it is about them letting you in. And what, what I get from that is you're not with them and they have left you out and left you out in the past. The death card is at the bottom of the deck and this can't be your ending. It can't, all right? Unless, you know, they have, uh, you know, succeeded in really kind of making these every, everything, you know, I I don't feel like that's your ending, all right? We have the the uh we have the strength card and the page of wands, Sagittarius. This is showing up as uh this is showing up here as coming soon. Somebody has the courage to come and walk a new path with you. Yeah. I feel like it's to walk their talk. I don't know if they told you this or not, but maybe somebody uh, but I know that you feel like somebody loves you here. Maybe they're Leo right here. Uh, they could be Gemini. We have Leo a couple times here, and uh, they could be anybody. The Queen, of, the King of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords is here, right? They could be just about anybody. The Queen of Swords, Sagittarius, is with the Four of Wands. This is how other people are affecting you. You're wondering if you're going to have a commitment with them. This is clear. The King of Pentacles is how you affect them. So they maybe they are this Earth sign. Maybe they are this Water sign here. The Four of Pentacles, this is how you are affecting them. They want to hold on to you. This is clear. This person doesn't want to be without you. No, because they think you're the soulmate. They want you to drop your jaws, Sagittarius. Drop your jaws, uh, lay down and be quiet. <laughs> because of the fertility card is here. This is, yeah, this is sex. It is for the most part. And then let's see what else we have. And your hopes and fears is going to be the King of Cups reversed with the Six of Pentacles. You could be hoping they're going to drop somebody. It's a possibility, Sagittarius. But definitely you are hoping here to have give and take with somebody. Yeah, you could. Uh, you, I mean, not you could. You are. Your outcome, we're going to look at it in the, in the other reading. We are. And we're going to finish out this uh, Tree of Life Oracle card. The cause and effect here is that somebody has to protect this. Here they are wanting to hold on to you. They have to protect this and hold on to you. So this is kind of what this has come to. And it could even be that they're leaving somebody. But my whole point, even if they're not, this is about protecting a union because, like, there's no other way. Like, they have to protect this because they love you, because you guys are soulmates. And they have realized that. So we're going to end this. We're going to finish the... Tree of Life Oracle in the other reading, we're going to look at the shared energies, 
how they are seeing this Sagittarius, how they feel about you, the environment they're in, what they're thinking about. Yeah, we're really getting into their brain. Yeah, just with tarot cards. Yeah, no, nothing invasive. And also the blocks, what you don't know about them, Sagittarius, or what they could be hiding, their near future, and of course their true intentions or their outcome. They're all super affordable. The link is below. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, you guys. Please don't use PayPal unless you have to. You're in another country or something like that, please. And also, uh, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I said that. Wishing you guys a ton of power and light. Thank you so much, guys.